Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Alt Kings podcast. I'm your host, Tate, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Serial Finance, the first lending protocol on Hedera, born to decrease risk of liquidation in an arbitrary and permissionless way using AI. Developed with love by Astronet, and today we have one of their founders, Gio Como, on. How are you doing today, Gio Como? Nice to meet you. I'm fine. And what about you? We're doing good. It's very exciting to have you, and I can't wait to dive deeper into what you have to offer on Hedera. So let's begin. Who are you, and really what inspired the creation of Serial Finance? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. First, I'm Giacomo. I'm 23 years old, and my background, I have an academic background because I programmed basically since my 16, and I graduated two years ago, and I'm an engineer. An engineer. Basically, uh, we can say that in 20, about 2021, I started to get interest in blockchain field while I'm a data analyst and I'm more focused on data science field. And back to 2021, uh, I founded my company, which is called Astrid Network, where I wanted to offer hybrid solution that could include both uh, blockchain and data science. Back to last year, we wanted to not just build something uh, in the uh, consulting field, but we wanted to build something that uh, could last over the time. And exactly last year, we just started playing with Hedera, the code snippets that are on GitHub repository. And we found this chain really interesting. We found this chain a good place to work on because it is it has the capability to to work with solidity, but at the same time has many other features that can differ this chain from other standard AVM chains. And we wanted also to introduce for the first time ever the AI concept behind the DeFi. Because actually you can, you can see, you can notice that there is a lot of data science, for example, behind lending protocol, such as the gauntlet service that they offer to have a compound. But you don't see, you'll notice that there is a lack of AI in the DeFi field. So we went into introduce our knowledge of a free and decentralized AI in the Hedera blockchain. And that's how we started it all. Nice. It seems like you have a very early development stages of what you're creating on Hedera. You're very new to Hedera, but you have tons of opportunity to grow as well. Is there any key people who contributed to your onboarding to Hedera? Any key players within the ecosystem already who helped really bring you onto the network and network you with tons of other age barbarians within the ecosystem? Yeah, first of all, I want to thank Head Starter team because we joined the Zero Gravity program of Head Starter and they are they supported us uh, in the early stage through the early stage of development of this decentralized application. Plus, I have to say to you that the hype that we received once we know the release of this protocol was above my personal expectation. So we found a great community to talk with. And yeah, we can see definitely that had started, helped us. But now it's really easy to connect and to network with other projects because they all were, they all were waiting for a lending protocol on this space. Most definitely. I know we have one lending protocol currently called Hash Rooms, and that's lending for NFT purposes only, not HTS tokens yet. But shout out to Tudor. He's a great guy and he's definitely helped a lot of projects in this space grow and gain more exposure outside and within the ecosystem as well. I was taking a look at your roadmap and you guys have a lot lined up through Q1 and Q4 of 2024. Can you provide me more details about the dApp release in Q1 2024 and how it will enhance the user experience for lending and borrowing tokens on Hedera? Yeah. Uh, we can say that in the first quarter of this year, we had to release the first version of the lending protocol that we can say is not really different from any other standard lending protocol and where basically people can supply their assets and it becomes their collateral. They can borrow assets, but 
we will still not introducing any AI or machine learning feature. In fact, we are going to release the first version of our ML, uh, which is a branch of AI in the second quarter of this year. Because even if we wanted to, to release the model, we have to get their data to train the model before releasing it. And we can say that we can say that the first quarter will allow us to, to tell people that they can finally borrow on the Hedera chain. The second quarter we basically tell to, to our users that we are using we are using AI seriously. And in the other two quarters, we hype to tell to every of our user that our lending protocol is and will be the most powerful that uh, they can ever use. Nice. Is there any specific tokens out there outside of just the HBAR token itself that you allow to be used on the lending protocol? Yeah. Actually, I can tell you that for sure we'll be listed HBAR token and the USDC. Then we are talking with other projects to list some other tokens as well, such as SOS token and HBAR X token from Stader. But we are talking with other projects and also H HTS, uh, HST token, the head starter token will be yeah. listed 100%. We are actually working with other projects to list SOS token and HBAR X token. But we are open to discuss to launch every other token. Honestly, we are going catchus. We are going to prudent to to list tokens because we most of the tokens on Hedera network are have a great volatility. It's risky to to list every token, so we go prudent on listing. That's why That's... we are going step by step. Nice. Yeah, it's smart to not not necessarily to list everything out the gates, especially with not necessarily knowing whether or not an HTS token is a viable product based off of its history within the market and whether it may be a short, whether it may be a newer token compared to an older token, you can really tell based off of its how long it's been in the market and how well the market's performed based off of its, I mean, its tokenomics and the market data that's out there to really see if it's a viable product or not to be on the lending platform, if that makes sense. I'm curious to know now, I know you've already mentioned how you'll be integrating AI into everything. What factors will the machine learning model for risk management consider when determining the probability of a user's liquidation, possibly? Because liquidation yeah. can happen. It's inevitable yeah. in this market. Do you want, I briefly explain how machine learning will be integrated into uh, liquidation and borrow stuff? You mean this? Correct. Yes, please. What we are basically working on is a machine learning model, which is capable of predicting the risk of liquidation of a specific loan. Let's, let's consider, for example, a borrower that provide a specific collateral. His collateral can be, for example, SOS token, HBAR token, HST token. And he want to borrow, for example, one more token, which can be, let's say, HBAR token, all right? Our model, before he borrow, he execute the transaction to borrow uh, the HBAR token, our model will basically warn him of the risk that his borrow is going to be liquidated. Before submitting the transaction, there will be displayed a specific percentage. We can say such as a simple pop-up uh, on the application and that will be will basically uh, warn user of the risk of liquidation and uh, the model will gather uh, i will say 12 or uh, 13 features to calculate this risk for example the collateral that he provided the volatility of that collateral in past days and past months the health factor of his loan how much he, how many token is going to borrow in dollar value uh, versus how much he is putting on collateral in dollar value. And we are also considering many other features such, such as the general market condition, overall market condition. So we are trying to cover as many cases as possible. And also keep in mind that uh, this model will basically be arbitrary and permissionless. So 
it won't the model the model won't work that he, he won't allow you uh, to do operations on our protocol he will just warn you and make you aware of the risk of your borrow but it won't affect your uh, your transactions on the protocol that's all sure what's the smallest amount somebody can borrow on the platform yeah you can borrow as low as one dollar cent one cent nice. of dollar and it basically and the maximum amount depend on the liquidity that is provided on the protocol just to spoiler something we are also talking with a liquidity provider in order to uh, allow user to play with liquidity as much as they want and uh, as much as they can nice that's cool so say if i were to put forth say fifty thousand dollars how much could i borrow off of that fifty thousand all oh, right it depends on a specific risk parameter which is called ltv or loan to value yeah we can say that this is a borrow cap so if you for example deposit fifty thousand dollar of usdc you will have uh, an higher borrow cap if you deposit b- because uh, he, its volatility is is uh, almost nothing it's almost null while uh, if you deposit for example hst token which uh, has a higher volatility you will be able to borrow a smaller percentage for a, a specific explanation of this i would i would drop some somewhere here a link to our documentation because we explain really in details and the loan to value parameters work gotcha all the links will be linked down below if anybody is interested tuning in currently speaking I, I know you also mentioned through your, your timeline and agenda for 2024 that you will plan to release your own native token. You mind dabbling into that a little bit? Can you repeat, please? Because the audio yeah. is lagging. Sorry. Yeah. So you, you guys are planning on releasing your own native token. Is that correct? Yeah. But I want to keep in mind, you all to keep in mind that we are postponing the release of the token not we won't release the token as we release the platform because we want to keep we want to keep away at the moment everything that is related to speculation and stuff like that we just want to focus on building the platform and deliver the best platform uh, we can possibly provide to the community and once community is aware that we are building seriously on hedera we are going to release the howard token and they will be able to use that and they will be aware of what they, they are buying. What's the uh, value proposition behind your token that you will eventually release into the ecosystem? What will that, what will the benefits come from that? Yeah, the token will have a lot of benefits, I would say. First of all, uh, it will be used uh, inside uh, the, the markets, will be listed uh, inside the markets of the lending protocol. So you will be able to supply, to borrow this, the serial token. Plus, it will be used uh, for weighting power in the governance mechanism uh, that we are going to release through uh, the third and uh, the fourth quarter. Plus, we also uh, are working on a system that is capable of creating a buyback strategy that can keep that can basically avoid the selling pressure behind the token uh, where through our governance we will propose to offer our machine learning model as a b2b service to other lending protocols and an allocation of the monthly revenues that we will get from the machine learning model will be used to buy back the token to support its capitalization Nice. So what's the value behind the governance besides maybe voting on HTS tokens to be on Serio Finance? Is there anything else besides that? Or what's the plan for the government's govern- governance model? Excuse me. Yeah, I would say that it won't be much different from other governance that you can see on Compound or on, for example, Harvest. So as you mentioned before, will be based on two principles. The first one is the voting power. The more is the token you hold, the serial token you hold, the more is the weight of your vote. Um, 
And the second one is, as you mentioned, that you we will be able to vote everything that is related to, we can say, the business field of and technical field of the, of the protocol. So you will be able to list if, for example, you have to, uh, you, we want to list a new token, we want to integrate a new token, or for example, as I mentioned before, if we want to offer our machine learning model to other protocols, uh, I would say nothing different from this. Gotcha. What will the interest rates look like whenever you're trying to borrow money from serial finance? You, you mean to say the user experience, the workflow behind the borrow? No, yeah, just how do you have standard rates for the interest rates whenever borrowing funds or oh, how will that work? Yeah, we will work a dynamic interest rate model. We are hard pushing this kind of model because I personally, with my development team, we all think that it's important to have a dynamic interest rate model that, that is capable of changing the interest, rate, the interest rates based on the demand of a specific asset because it also, it also helps us to to keep the interest rate and the token use and is liquidity flow in more in a specific standard we would say you won't see for example a savage use of of a specific token risk of its liquidation and stuff like that as much as the token is basically used uh, the higher will be the interest rate to to borrow it uh, again, for the uh, for a specific vision of how the interest rate model work, I highly suggest to check our documentation because even for this, we explain it really well. Gotcha. Makes sense. I assume there's a lot of details within the documentation as well that I probably missed. But <laughs> No problem. <laughs> no problem. You have all the time to check it before we are going to release the application, all right? Most definitely. Yeah, I look forward to everything that's soon to come and that has already came to us on Hedera. Can you elaborate on the process of aut autonomously? Ha, ah, who? Scratch that. Can you elaborate on the process of extracting, processing, and training the data from the machine learning models within the second update of Q4 2024? Yeah, honestly, that is an interesting question because we are actually opting for hybrid uh, way, uh, an hybrid approach to, to get your data for, for our machine learning model. Because actually, we can't obviously use any native data because the, the platform is not online. So we can't use our own loans history to, to train the model. And we are basically using an approach where we, we use a sort of synthetic data. So we are basically gathering data from other protocols such as Compound or Hava, and then based on the correlation of the token that they list with the token that we are going to list, uh, we are basically uh, using that data to simulate the, the potential liquidation of the assets that are borrowed. So at the moment, we are working with that to, for example, to, uh, to keep track of the parameters of the machine learning model, uh, for example, the error parameters such as my and a lot of technical stuff. But actually, we are working with them. Uh, and then uh, once we release our protocol and we get, we gain some traction, we are going to use uh, our own data. Nice. Do you think there's any risk associated with using machine learning models? Uh, I don't honestly think that there is any risk for two reasons. The first one is that you are you have the full control of your funds, as I mentioned before, and since it is uh, an arbitrary uh, model that will be used and his, his final goal is just to make you aware of, of your loans. And the second one is that it will be basically we aim to, we aim to release the protocol on a decentralized, we would say like a decentralized, imagine it like a decentralized Amazon of West 
so we can keep away any kind of manipulation of this model. In fact, as Astrid Network, we are partnered with Flux, which is basically a decentralized Amazon of West. And our aim is to host the model using their, using their network, their technologies. Very interesting. What excites you the most, Yokoma? Out of yeah, everything you're uh, developing, what excites you the most? Actually, I, to be honest, I'm more anxious than excited. <laughs> really? But what excites me is the release of the machine learning model in the quarter one that will be available for loans against the USDC. And because uh, I think that we honestly are not compound, we are not have a, that uh, have billion of dollars in Kibwell. But I think that will be uh, an important moment for the entire DeFi because for the first time, the AI will enter the DeFi field. I am mainly excited for that. Nice. Will there be a KYC process for users who want to take loans on your platform or is it open to anybody who's interested? I honestly believe any member of my team in the privacy and decentralization concepts. Absolutely not. There is no KEC process that you have to do to borrow on our platform. Uh, plus, we are also working to provide serial function directly from wallets. So you don't either need to connect to our domain to make transactions on serial. So say if there's no KYC verification process, couldn't it be possible that people who borrow through your platform, they could more or less run off with the money? Is that a possibility or how does that play out if somebody tries to run off with the funds? Is that a plausible factor or do you have a way of securely securing the funds so there's no risk all involved. right first of all i want to keep in mind that as a development team we are all kc by head starter so you don't have to worry that not on your end though. i'm talking about the user's end yeah. obtain funds and then say if i just ran yeah. off without okay. paying them yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I, I just wanted to make to make things clear justice we are all kc plus i want to all remember that the smart contracts will be audited we aim to we aim to let to pick shield a company to have the our smart contracts if we are able to find an agreement with them. But we are also in contact with some other important audit companies. And the second important point is that our code will be will be public and will be open source, so everyone can inspect and check our code, even if we have the risk to see someone copy pasting our project. Uh, but we want to make things uh, as clearer as possible. Uh, and plus, we will offer back bounties if someone inspect any malicious line of code, any weak line of code, any weak function inside the smart contracts, we will offer a compensation for that. Nice. Awesome. This has been a very informative podcast today discussing everything serial finance. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Closing thoughts, Giacomo? It's been a pleasure being able to speak with you today on everything. I just want, I just want to thank you for this for these space that you dedicated to us. And we are actually in the development stage. I will say that this week we will invite our closest partner to test our platform on the UX and on the and inspect our code that we build. And we are getting feedback starting from the head starter team, then our closest partner. And the last action that we want to do is to release the testnet version of the protocol for everyone. So everyone can start playing with our protocol. We are near the release. That's what I want to see. Nice. I can't wait to dabble around on that test and see what you guys are all about. Thank you, Giacomo, for joining me today on the Alt Kings podcast. All of your links will be linked down below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you all in the next episode. Peace. 
Ready to transform your learning experience? Step into the future with the Learn to Earn platform on Hedera. Choose how you learn, academic books in hard copy or NFT form. That's right, NFTs. Whether you prefer the traditional feel or a digital interactive journey, the choice is yours. Dive into the NFT, not just for the book, but for all the tools you need for success. Download the book, access tests, all within a seamless, immersive interface. Forget traditional logins. Simply scan the QR code, connect to our platform, and start your learn to earn journey. Pass your tests and watch your success turn into real rewards with Gcoin, our exclusive digital currency. Imagine learning at your own pace, acing exams, and reaping tangible benefits. It's not just education, it's a transformative journey towards success. Join the future of learning at gilmore-estates.net. Scan, learn, earn, it's that simple, and it's revolutionary.